combat rescue officers are the guys that would go out and retrieve an airman if they ever became stranded behind enemy lines. Some of the best in the business have traveled to Fairchild this week for a competition that puts their life-saving skills to the test. Three, two, one, start. Meet combat rescue officer William Chase. The first lieutenant's job is to command rescue operations and calling shots from the field can often involve shooting a gun. You've got to support them in some way while they're on the ground before rescue forces can arrive. Um, and then you get, have to go recover them, bring them back. As part of the SEER challenge, these airmen are timed as they assemble a pair of weapons, then graded on their speed and accuracy here at the Fairchild Range. His teammate, Dwight Funk, is a para-jumper, a skydiving paramedic who can drop in behind enemy lines to treat and then evacuate down pilots. Go, that would be personnel recovery, whether that be under combat situations. Uh, we can do civilian search and rescue. Uh, it all boils down to somebody's in a rough spot and we got to go get him out. Go. Both men represent some of the toughest and smartest airmen the Air Force has to offer. Let us beat down. Let us beat down. Let us beat. This officer lost consciousness underwater during combat rescue tryouts. Today's competition included a six mile forced march after three days of no sleep oh, God, no! and this grueling physical fitness test. But when pilots suddenly find themselves dangling from a parachute, the PJs and combat rescue officers are the people they call for help. We, we will come get them anytime, anywhere, day or night, any condition. That is our promise to our fellow comrades in arms. Um, we are here to rescue. And for all their trouble, the winners of this challenge get little more than a trophy and bragging rights. The real prize is walking away from this competition just a little bit better at saving lives. Reporting at Fairchild, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.